Hey guys, Ben here with Shooting Gear Reviews. Thanks for tuning in. This year I had a blast at SHOT Show and I filmed a ton of stuff. I got to go to Range Day. I got to make it all over the floor and just really explore all the different booths and the different companies that were there represented. And I brought a bunch of great footage back to share with you guys. So I'm gonna break this up into kind of like segments by uh, company. So today's video, this is actually gonna feature the Umarex air gun stuff, but definitely guys stay tuned. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna be rolling out all of the SHOT Show content and there is some really cool stuff in there. So here we go, let's go check out what Umarex had at SHOT Show 2020. Hey guys, we're out here at Range Day. We got Aiden from Umarex and we are gonna talk about some pretty cool new arrow shooting products that actually just dropped just before Range Day. Right now we've got the Air Javelin. What's up with the Air Javelin? Air Javelin is 330 feet per second is what it shoots in 170 grain uh, arrow. Okay. And uh, it's it's got an adjustable stock in the back, safety like you'd normally see, which okay. is located right here. Yep. The, uh, I think the thing that surprises most people about it is the weight. Let me you, see. You pick it up on the... Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So the weight's, yeah. the weight's huge. I mean, it, it's so light that you pack it around anywhere. It's kind of like the... Uh, the Tom Sawyer Huck Finn type thing, you know, cruising around the, on the property, you know, chasing squirrels, chasing, you know, wherever you want to go out there. Sure. So, I mean, it's, it's a hunter. You can put broadheads on it, so you can shoot field tips or field points on it, and then uh, you can run broadheads if you want to hunt something bigger. How many shots per 88 gram? About 30. You know, that, really? Yeah, that's okay. temperature dependent. So right, right. If, if the temperature happens to be in the 40s 50s you're gonna have a lot less shots right so you, want, you can use hand warmers if you want to keep it you know warmed up from there sure uh, I always carry my extra tank in my pocket or inside your jacket and uh, as far as bolt is that ambidextrous it is so you can unscrew it from this side here okay and then put it over on this side so right side or left me personally I like to shoot it from this side here because I like to charge on this side okay okay and then um, I guess Tell me a little bit about what you've got on there right now for an optic. It looks like you've got a red dot. Is that kind of what you recommend for her? For this gun, definitely a red dot would be okay. what I would shoot. So uh, if you put a red dot on here, you can run it. Depending, you know, I would sight it in probably around your 15 yard range. Okay. Maybe 20 yards. 20 yards tends to be the, the good one because you're gonna. It's effective kill. Uh, it's probably 30 yards somewhere there. That's where I would say a good ethical kill area. Was. And it, you're speaking from experience when you say that just a little bit, right? Because you have. What have you done with this? Uh, I, I took out a hog. I shot okay. a six, about a 65 pound hog with it. That's epic, you yeah, guys. It was good. About 25 yards, uh, and it was a full, full buried at full atom. So that's awesome. It's pretty Very nice. cool. 30 feet per second 170 grains is doing good that's so we're talking like what under 200 bucks 170 170 170 and you can take a hog with an arrow you guys that's definite first for the air gun world that's really cool yeah it's it's awesome so let's see how it shoots okay let's do it so we'll start you off with this okay pick one of those uh, the safety on it we just make sure that that's on okay and then out here you'll just feed it on the, to the tip there it uses the air there's an air tube that runs down there and the arrow slides over the air tube okay so the accuracy when it comes out of the barrel the accuracy on that thing is I mean it, it doesn't waver hardly anything it comes out and just straight down the air tube straight down the air that's tube. really cool yeah, that's really nice and then you feel it when you feel it pull down a little bit more you'll feel it click you feel that little yeah, click there? Yeah, okay, okay. That pops over the O-ring. Okay. So if you're up in like a tree stand or something like that. Arrow's not going to fall yeah, out. it won't fall out of the yeah. front of the gun. Okay. And that's all it is just right there that's like it. that? Okay. How, how was the caulking mechanism? It was it's really easy. It's really very easy, easy to yeah. caulk. Yeah. That's why I said that's it. Because yeah. I was expecting it to be harder. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that puts it right where you're holding it, man. Right, That's right awesome. That is super cool. All right, you guys. So there you have it. Air Javelin from Umarex. You can shoot an arrow with air for under 200 bucks. And at least if you're this guy right here, you can take a hog with it. So that's pretty dang cool. Yeah, and to change out the cylinder, one last thing to mention. You just put oh, there it is. Bunch this on the side. Okay. You can slide this up off of here, and then you unscrew your tank, put a new one inside there, and then you put it back on. You're ready to go. Very so, cool. That's awesome. All right. I I am excited to to see <laughs> what we've got over on this table over here, guys. So we're gonna move the camera over and go check out the air saver next. That's All right, guys. This is what I've been really excited to see because this is 
got it all going on. Serious power, serious accuracy at range. We got the whole PCP set up instead of the CO2, which, I mean, I'm a PCP shooter. I like that. You get more power. You can fill it up. You don't have to have cartridges to fill it. So I'm excited about this. But tell me what you know. Tell me a little bit more about how this whole thing works. So basically, the air tube, we use the, fill, the filling ports on the front, and it's a pro. Okay. So we send you the, you get the adapter with the gun. Okay. Uh, when you when you get ready to fill it, uh, the gun itself pumps up to 250 bar or like 3,600 pounds roughly. Okay. Okay. Uh, when you go to fill it up, you get about 30 shots out of it. I usually run it about 10 shots, five to 10 shots, and then I'll refill. Refill. Yeah, and you get okay. you, that way you kind of maximize your air if you're running through there. But in a pinch, you could. Okay. Uh, you can run up there. And uh, this one actually comes with a scope. Very cool. So for 370 bucks, you get the scope with the gun. You can mount it up and get it going. If you really want to be pressing out the angles out to long distance, you're going to probably want to, you know, on the scope out there. Like I've shot with this scope out to 100. Uh, okay. It'll shoot about a three-inch scoop. Me, preferably, I'll, I'll go up to a bigger scope, taking longer. Shots. Taking longer shots. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. But really, with something like this, you know, those longer shots maybe not so ethical for hunting. So for for hunting, the scope's probably adequate, right? Yeah, for hunting, it's, it's adequate. I mean, no, no problem on a 75-yard shot. Yeah. No problem on that. Very cool, so, very cool. And, and, it, and it groups them. Nice. And you got you got three Picatinny rails in the front. The rails uh, up there. Yep. Doesn't come with this cool AccuTac bipod, but you can put what on whatever bipod you want on there. Um, tell me a little bit more about this stock. This is a really pretty cool stock that you guys came up with here. This It looks very comfortable. It's got Magpul colors on it. And uh, I think one of the things in the stock, if you, if you notice the weight on it, so half the weight of this is probably the bipod. Right. But if you feel the weight of the gun. Yeah, it's 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 not heavy. It's, it's not heavy at all. You not can heavy walk around at all. with this thing all day long and hunt, and you don't have to worry about uh, you know getting worn out about six pounds roughly, I think, somewhere in that area. Okay. For the trigger, the safety is actually located on the trigger. Uh -huh. So you, you follow the, the silver up on the side of the trigger and then touch it there, and that's where your safety is. Very cool, very cool. So we talked about the javelin, and you had taken a hog with that. I've seen some pictures on Instagram. What have you got with this guy? Uh, we'll hold that back until I release the videos on it. So. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Unless you, you follow, you, you can go as big as you want. I can tell you that. I mean, at 450 feet per second, I mean, this is a bad motor scooter here, and it's shooting yeah. a 350 grain arrow. I think from the broadhead side, it's really that swath right. that you're getting going through there. So you can put any broadhead, and there's enough of the arrow that sticks out of the end to safely seat the arrow. To actually be able to seat the arrow with whatever you're going to put on there. on there. Very cool. Very so, cool. I mean, you can change, and you can actually add more to it if you want on the on the way to the broadhead too. Uh, I would, if, if you keep it in that 350 range. I mean, that's smoking a pretty dialed in. Yeah, it's dialed. In, so. Nice. Well, speaking of dialed in. Let's take some shots yeah, with this thing. How, let's let's do it, it, right? Yeah, that's it. All right. So first, we're going to load the arrow, right? Right. We'll load the arrow first before we cock anything. And this here, you'll see when you pull this back, the spring's a little firm. Okay. When you pull it back, it'll have a click and a detent. Okay. And when it does that, you need to just slide it forward after that point, and you're cool. ready to go. So Is this my arrow here? The arrow. Uh, where is it? Pretty cool. And you'll pull it in, there's a detent in there. Yeah, I can sort of it feel it. Pops. You can feel it kind of go over yeah. the top of that O-ring. It's a little cold out here today, so that O-ring shrinks a little bit. But Yeah, it's, it's not as, as uh, tactile as it maybe would be. Right, like the javelin has a very distinct yes. uh, feeling on there. But the shroud here protects uh, the fletching that's on there. So instead of putting the fletching and twisting it down into a barrel, right, this right. is coming right off the air tube. Yeah. Very cool. So at this point here, all you do is cock it. And that's it there. There you go. Safety off. Now is it hitting which which line in the in there? So There's use, four use lines. The, yeah, use the top cross here. Okay. And just put it right on the target. <laughs> wow, that's dialed in. It's dialed in. Yeah. That's and awesome. What I, and what I would recommend for your zero target if you're hunting with it. Zero this one in at about 40 yards. Okay. Yeah, because if you, if you dial it in at 40 yards, you can shoot under that pretty easy. Sure. Uh, it'll give you the best range that you'll probably have out there if you get it dialed in at 40 yards. Wow. You guys, that's really cool. 
I would love uh, to go out and take some big game with this. Just the, pulling the trigger on it one time gets you excited about the possibilities with something like this, man. So that yeah, is awesome. You, and you shoot it just like archery and like air guns. So if you're hunting big game or big boar or whatever it is, you know, just behind the shoulder, that's the perfect place. Just put it right there. Very cool. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, you guys. Well, that's it. Thanks for checking out the cool stuff this year from Umarex. We got arrow shooting air guns, and they are pretty badass. Aiden, thanks for showing us those. Thanks, brother. See you guys. Nice. That's some serious shooting right there. Hey guys, Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner, here at SHOT Show with something that I've actually known about for a little while, but I couldn't tell you because it was under wraps and I've been super excited about it. That's the Walther Rain. Now, Umrex is actually the one offering this for us, um, but this is made by Walther, German made. This thing is really sweet, guys. I love bullpup rifles just because they're super compact. You can hunt with them, squeeze through the trees, lightweight easy to manage they tuck into the shoulder really nice so i'm a fan of this bullpup sort of a configuration and this thing's pretty dang sweet you guys we got side lever action comes in 22 or 25 cal fully shrouded and suppressed the bottle is actually like really concealed here inside the stock so it's got kind of a unique look to it even got your pick rail right there just all around very cool rifle of course you got your magazine multi-shot capability right there and this thing, guys, is very lightweight. Even with the Axion scope on it right now, look at that, very lightweight, super cool. That's why I love bullpups. And this, guys, is something that's definitely gonna be no exception to all the reasons why I love bullpups. Very excited to get my hands on one of these. I'm here at the Umarex booth, and I've got another thing that I'm super excited to show you guys about. Big barrier to getting into PCP air gunning is how do I fill my PCP gun? Most pumps are big, heavy, expensive, and some of the more portable pumps haven't really maybe gotten the job done as completely as what this can do, and that's why I'm really excited about it, guys. This is the Ready Air. This is very lightweight. Look at that, guys. Runs on 12 volt. You got your hookups right there to run it off your car battery. Right now they've got it plugged in to a little power outlet hidden underneath here. So you can use it at home, use it on the road. This thing is a true 4,500 PSI fill solution right here in this small and convenient package. I've heard that you can even fill the small pony bottles off of it should you choose to do so. But this thing, you guys, in my head, you can kind of bypass the bottle really in a lot of situations because you just fill your gun straight off of this you're getting clean dry air right out of here and you don't need to spend the extra cash on a bottle if that doesn't make sense to you another couple of really cool features on this guy is that it's actually digitally controlled so i'll get some close-up shots here of this little control panel but you digitally control this you set exactly the pressure you want it filled to on and off everything there's a it's all computer controlled. So like, let's say it starts to get too hot, it's gonna shut itself down. Let you set the fill pressure, it's gonna fill to that fill pressure and then shut down. So really does a lot of that work for you guys. This uses no oil and no water. So it's a really a foolproof solution, you guys. And the best part, the very best part, under 500 bucks. And that is like unheard of, you guys. So props to Umarex for bringing it once again I did not even know this was coming out. They've been keeping it sort of under wraps, but I'm really excited to see it here. And I think this is gonna solve the problem for a lot of people to getting started with PCP air gunning, because now they can fill their gun with clean air on a budget. That's really cool. Okay guys, still here at the Umarex booth, SHOT Show 2020, and there's just a couple more things that I wanna talk about. Two things that I'm really excited about that came out this year. One, we'll talk about it is something that was already out but this is version two and that is right here guys the fusion two this thing has got everything the first fusion had except they just kind of made it like a whole lot better first of all guys uh, now we've got a magazine so i know maybe that's something that a lot of people were asking for or said oh wouldn't it be great to have a magazine on this and now you've got it so you've got a nine shot magazine in 177 cal that is really cool 
I've been out, actually used the version one to do some night hunting, some ratting. And when you're trying to load that pellet in the dark, kind of difficult. So now we've got a mag, guys, super cool. But that's not it, they didn't stop there. We've also got a pick rail now for mounting our scope. We've got really cool looking bolt action there. You've got a fully shrouded barrel and the silence air suppressor. So the first fusion was like super quiet and this thing is like, must be silent, right? I mean, it, it's got, you can't even hear it, I bet. <laughs> so they've also updated the stock a little bit, guys. We've got just kind of like a cool pistol grip sort of a stock, that's a cool thing, right? And then you've also got the option to do two 12 gram CO2s, or you can disconnect this whole tube right here and put on an 88 grammer. So super flexible. You can run just with the regular readily available 12 gram CO2s, go down to your box store, pick up a bunch of them, shoot all day, or if you want even more shots before you have to use a new CO2, hook up one of the 88 gram CO2s and you're ready to go. So we've got like super flexibility, really cool new version of the Fusion, guys. I'm really excited about this. Umrex doesn't just take old guns and make them better. They also, of course, have to come out with some new stuff that's really, really awesome. And I'm talking about this guy right here, the Origin. This might just look like a regular PCP to you guys. And to me, it did too. That's until I found out kind of the secret sauce of what's going on inside of this air cylinder here. So we'll get to that in just a minute. But first, I kind of want to go over just really how cool this is. First of all, we got a side lever cocking action on this. Multi-shot comes in 177 and 22 right now. So that's what's kind of going on with the rifle. Of course, you've got your suppressed barrel, very quiet. So really cool, right? PCP air gun. Now, here's where it gets cool, and this is what I was talking to you guys about at the beginning there. This air cylinder right here is got kind of a cool thing going on. What it is, it's got a piston inside that when you fill up this air cylinder, that piston's gonna compress and it's gonna keep the air at a constant pressure, guys. So if you only wanna put 13 pumps in it and go out and take a shot, you can do that with a hand pump. Fill it up super easy. If you wanna fill it up all the way, go right ahead, you get more shots. But with that piston in there, it's gonna be able to keep that at a constant pressure for you guys, so you don't have to fill it all the way. It basically makes this air tube, a smaller air tube, makes it easier for you to fill with a hand pump if you're just trying to get a couple of shots out of it. Very cool, super innovative, and since it's so easy to fill with a hand pump, they went ahead and they packaged it with a hand pump. You get this and the hand pump, Mark, how much is it since you since you just did that? Yeah, 350 MSRP. MSRP 350 gun and hand pump, total fill solution. That's really cool, you guys. Super innovative. And for you guys that are just maybe on the fence about getting into PCPs, this would be a great place to start. So there you have it, guys. There's a lot of other cool stuff here at the Umarex booth. You're gonna have to check out Rick's videos and Angie's videos to see some of the other items, but that's what I've got for you guys today. And uh, stay tuned, we've got more stuff coming at you from SHOT 2020. I'm Ben, the Outdoors Air Gunner with Shooting Gear Reviews. See you guys.